Hey, Jack and Jills, I'm Epic Botch, and welcome to my first Let's Play, Braid. For those of you who don't know, Braid is a platforming game with a time component added onto it. And the purpose of the game is to enter each world, obtain all the puzzle pieces, and put them together at the end so you can reach the final destination. Alright, we're going to start with World 2. Time and Forgiveness. Tim is off on a search to rescue the princess. She has been snatched by a horrible and evil monster. This happens because Tim made a mistake. Not just one, he made many mistakes during the time they spent together all those years ago. Memories of their relationship have become bubbled, replaced wholesale. But one remains clear, the princess turning sharply away, her braid lashing at him with contempt. He knows she tried to be forgiving, but who can just shrug away a guilty lie, a stab in the back? Such a mistake will change a really relationship irreversibly, even if we have learned from the mistakes and would never repeat it again. The princess's eyes grew narrower, she became more distant. Our world, with its rules of casuality, has trained us to be miserly with forgiveness. By forgiving too readily, we can be badly hurt. But if we've learned from a mistake and become better for it, we shouldn't be, shouldn't we be rewarded for the learning rather than punished for the mistake? What if our world worked differently? Suppose we could tell her, I didn't really mean what I just said. And she would say, it's okay, I understand. And she would not turn away, and life would really proceed as though we have never said that thing. We could remove the damage, but still be wiser for the experience. Tim and the princess lounged in the castle garden, laughing together, giving names to the colorful boards. Their mistakes are hidden from each other, tucked away between the folds of time. See? Now, each of these worlds that we're going to enter has an area like this with a lot of exposition, and then we just go straight into the gameplay. Three easy pieces. Now, the controls for Braid are pretty simple. Um, if you're using PC like I am, WASD moves you around, or you can use the arrow keys. And spaces for jumping. Pretty simple. Alrighty. Now, this first level is all about getting us acquainted with the mechanics of the game. And... <laughs> It's nice just being able to step right into the action. Alright, our first obstacle. Now, this is our first puzzle. Pretty simple to get to. Uh, you can die in Braid, but it is reversible. And that's where our time component comes in handy. Now, if you do, if you go back too far, you lose the puzzle piece. So, and there's that consideration with the game as well. Here's our first enemy. This is called a Monstar. You kill them, as the picture says, by jumping on their head. Pretty simple. They can hurt you, as simply by touching them. If you jump on their head, it gives you extra height, which is really nice. And we'll use, on the next one, we'll use it to gain double height. Now, uh, if you looked, saw it earlier, the cannon... Oh, I gotta line this up. The cannon spits out a new monster every time you jump on one's head. So if you don't get these just right, you can either reverse time or... Ugh, man, reverse time or wait for it to spit out another guy. I'm sorry, my timing on this is not good. Not good at all. Oh boy. Oh, barely. We're gonna try that one more time. Come on, you could do this. Get it lined up just right. Why am I having problems with this? I'm sorry, guys. This is a really s pretty simple puzzle. And I'm not sure why I'm having problems with this. Okay, I think I finally figured out what I need to do. Gotta get it lined up. Come on. <laughs> You could say that I'm having quite the epic botch. <laughs> Sorry for the bad pun, guys. Can't help it. There we go. 
I really do apologize. That shouldn't have taken me so long to do. <laughs> it's the first world. I promise I played this game before. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Now we're on to the cloud bridge. In this one, we have new mechanics. Um, key pretty much just unlocks doors. It's susceptible to time like a lot of the other things in this world. Um, clouds, pretty nifty. We can just ride them and if they hit something, they disappear. Alright, that's pretty simple for the two puzzles that we can get this time. We'll have to come back for this puzzle and the one up on top later. Hunt. Well, we're going on a hunt for monsters. We're gonna leave this one alone because we need him to get over that gap in the middle. Um, as we keep hitting the monsters, you can see that X's are happening. Oh, I went a little too far. Whew. On the door, um, and once we make them go away, once we jump on them, the door will open. Ta-da! Pretty simple. Next one. Leap of Faith. Now, this door partial world is more about getting timing correct. So we're going to use this platform to transport one of the uh, monsters over so we can get that puzzle piece. I'm going to see if I can fix that. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so don't worry about timing, he will get there eventually, and he won't jump, just jump into the ledge. Ooh. There we go. First puzzle piece of this world. Sorry, not this world, this door. Again, this one's all about timing. There's one puzzle piece off to the right. Getting it just right to land on this monster right here. Oh, that was so close. There we go. Alright, when you fall down this pit, we're gonna stay right and then go left. Whoops, uh, I went. There we go. And time for the last puzzle piece. We'll wait for the monster to fall down. Be pretty quick about getting up here. Um, you can't make it up the ladder in one go. You have to stop. So, and here is our first instance of the claw. It's pretty simple. They go in and out of the tube if you touch them. Boop. Instant death. Alrighty, and that's it. I'm sorry, but the princess is in another castle. That's pretty understandable. All right, that is the end of this world, but we're not finished. Remember those two puzzle pieces? We can get them now. So I like to go through door three and then go back through door two so you end up at the end of the puzzle instead of having to go through everything. Um, each world is going to have this puzzle that you can move around the pieces and put the pieces together. My suggestion, don't put World 2 or World 3's puzzle pieces together just yet. Um, because it's going to be important for something that you can only... It'll be important for getting the 8 stars in the game, which give you a different ending, which is a lot of fun. Alright, now we're going to shift this. And move out of the way so we can use the monster to bounce and get this puzzle piece. Ready. So we used this platform to move the monster around. We're gonna do the same to move Timograms, which is the name of our character. Our handsome I wanna say he's Irish looking to me. He might actually just be English or I think maybe even just American. I don't know. His looks scream Irish to me for some reason. <laughs> Alright, and that's it for World 2. 
Um, this episode was pretty short, but as we continue on through the game, that they're going to get a lot longer. Um, yeah, so if you liked this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If not, I really hope you stick around so I can maybe change your mind. Thanks for joining me on my first, first episode of my first Let's Play. Have a wonderful day.